Well, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mojave Desert. Rachel Resnick, LA Times bestselling author. I'm just setting my stopwatch so I can pay attention to how long I'm on here. And I'm so excited to join you guys today. Hey, Catherine, thank you so much for joining all the way from Australia. And I am here because I'm on a mission to spread the good news about the power of personal story. And it changed my life and it's changing the lives of my clients and of different people who take courses I'm offering. And I am ready to spread the good news and to let you know some clear cut reasons why it's so powerful and why it also unlocks profit for you guys, because we're all in business in different ways and also joy. And I'm thinking we all can do with some more joy. So what I'm here to speak about today, and I'm going to keep it as short as I can is 10 specific benefits that you get from personal story. And I'm going to zero in on one of them today and tell you about a client who had an incredible, incredible breakthrough in this particular benefit. And then some other ones came along with it. And I've got my peonies here. They're already beginning to wilt. <laughs> Um, so let me list some of the benefits and I'm going to be doing more information about this, more videos, more writing and more sharing. So the first one is it increases your creativity big time. And Hey everyone. Hey, Michael. Hey, Andrew. Hey, James. And it increases your joy. It has an incredible, powerful effect on if you suffer from any kind of stress or depression or anxiety. It's remarkable when we claim our own creative authority, the kinds of results that we can get from it. It increases your connection to other people. This is so powerful, whether you're someone who is looking to connect with your ideal clients or customers or your readers or your viewers, your buyers, you name it. It is, it actually has a, an incredible benefit on your leadership capacity because if you're able to master your own story and get clear on it and share it with other people, that absolutely translates into leadership because there's a, a focus that's required and a depth and an artfulness and then a generosity of spirit with the sharing. So it's pretty amazing and powerful. There's also a confidence you get from claiming your story and, and speaking it in your own particular way of sharing that is quite remarkable and quick. <laughs> and it's, there's something so extraordinary about stepping into your creative authority and facing the day as a blank page where you have the capacity to choose your reality and to shape your day. And you have more possibilities and opportunities to do that when you claim your creative authority first thing. And so we already talked a little bit about focus. We live in an incredibly distracted and distractible world right now. There's a lot of fragmentation of identity and also fracturing of attention and what we put intention and attention on, like I am doing right here with you guys, it grows and we're here to be fully alive and also to grow. And I personally suffered from being incredibly expansive and creative on the page and on the stage and with my art and stories, I didn't let it translate to my life. And now in the last 13 years that I've run my own business, it's very much about how do you apply the gorgeous power of memoir writing or personal storytelling and the mastery of it to your life. 
So I'm listing the 10 benefits. There are so many, I've distilled it down to these 10, and then I'm gonna zero in on one of them for this short video. I've been on for about five minutes. I'm gonna keep it as short as I can, 10, 15. You'll tell me how you're doing with it. And any questions or comments, please feel free. And I and thank you for the love. And here are some peonies. We're coming at you live from the Hobby Desert. Once again, I am Rachel Resnick. I'm an LA Times bestselling author. And I am a creative entrepreneur, successful entrepreneur. I've been running my own business for the last 13 years, helping you guys master the art of personal storytelling so you can cut through the noise and there's more noise every day. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. So you can touch people, boom, right in the heart, through the page, through the phone, through the computer and reach them in the hearts because we're so alienated right now and we're looking for leaders and we're looking for people who have the capacity to reach us. And, oh, Lorraine is giving me a comment. I'm gonna read it in one second. And whatever we're here to do, oh, I love the jumping fox, whatever we're here to do, whether it's to build our platform as artists, as authors, as any other kind of creative uh, entrepreneurs, as a service-based entrepreneur, as I'm a published author, I'm also a service-based entrepreneur, and I love mentoring people and helping bring out your unique voice and story and so you can master the art of personal storytelling. And after all these years of teaching, I started teaching this in 95. <laughs> and how could that be, young as I am? Ha ha ha. And I have been running my own business for 13 years, as I said, and also writing my own personal story. And everything in my life changed when I wrote the memoir, which is now... 90, ooh, 2008, 2009. So it all started opening up from there. Let me see what, oh, Catherine, I love the fox and the easel. Yeah, there's an easel in the back. It's an Italian easel. So Lorraine is saying, thank you. You're great. I'm listening and healing and feeling possibility of creative energy all because of you. Wow. See, that's one reason it's important to master your own story, claim it, and then show up. Show up on Facebook, show up on Instagram. We have the capacity these days to broadcast our own podcasts, you know, with a phone or with a laptop, that's it, and Wi-Fi. You can create your own magazine. Instagram, it's a bunch of, you know, you can post articles. They're, they're, the gatekeepers are gone. So it's all about us learning how to master ourselves and also be joyful. I personally seem to attract some clients and participants and course members who may struggle with lack of productivity, with procrastination, with depression, low-grade depression, with anxiety. Is this you? Is any of this you? And um, I've been so thrilled to be able to share and guide and mentor people so they can get their mojo back through writing and claim their creative authority and step out of their story, out of their life, get perspective on it, shape the story, and then go back in and back out. And there's a versatility and a fluidity there that's so exciting. So I'm going to break it down now and talk about one of the benefits because I listed 10 and I'm going to be writing something about this and blogging about it, but I wanted to focus in on one of them and that is perception. Now, how is that a benefit and how does personal story open up perception? Well, perception is how we see the world. And if we're able to shift our perception and our perspective, then it can alter the entire way we experience our lives. And when we master the art of personal storytelling, we hone our perception. And we are usually deluged with all the noise and online and off 
and we give our power away, give it away, we, all the news and and uh, pressures that we have. There's so much pressure and the distractions and we lose sense of self and you cannot be an effective storyteller and you lose track of your personal story when you do that. So when you start a day in a meditative, quiet way, which I always suggest to my clients, morning looking ritual, then the morning writing ritual, then you see the blank slate and you are able to see yourself in your life with whatever Mishigas is happening and also step outside and watch it. And that is what you hone as the storyteller where you're able to unknot yourself from that life and view it and get clear on how you see the world. And the more you sharpen your perception, you access a freedom from the pressures of your life interestingly even when you're sharing them you're also seeing them and that gives you a breathing space and it gives you more sense of wait a second i could change it i could look at it from this side i could alter the story so the more you hone your perception we can only have when you separate out from the pressure of the day and look at the story that you're telling for the day, let alone from the past. And this is extraordinary because in so many business trainings and conferences and personal growth explorations and experiences, we're looking for ways to get ahas or insights or get clarity. And sharpening your perception is what makes all of this possible. So, I just want to wrap up with sharing a, an inspiring story for one of my clients who honestly has been struggling and I'm going to keep her anonymous and she's a sweetheart and she's given me permission to share the story. She has been struggling with depression for a decade and I, I know this really well because I suffered from low grade depression for most of my life. And if I don't do my morning making ritual and step into my capacity as a personal storyteller, then I can default because that was so long that I honed that other kind of track. So she was suffering from low grade depression. She was had a, 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 a touch of agoraphobia. She spent a lot of time in the house. She wasn't really socializing. She wasn't getting her creative work done. She wasn't inspired. And her life kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller and shrinking. And her vision, her perception also was almost like barn doors. But, oh no, that's not how barn, door, barn doors go like, mm. okay. It's like a, a, a saloon, swinging saloon. No, those don't close. Anyway, you know what I mean. Big door, think Game of Thrones doors, and until it was only like 15 degrees, like blinders on. And sometimes that happens to us. We get very small and we get so wrapped up in our story because we're not claiming the storytelling piece, which gives us the breath and the perception of it. So as we work together and she was so dedicated each day she'd show up for writing a bit more of her personal story and voila cumulatively over these last few months she recently experienced an incredible breakthrough where she realized as she looked back on some of the work that she had been connecting with strangers more she had been broadening her horizons in terms of friendships and spending time and socializing. She'd been writing more. She'd been sharing more online, getting more engagement. And because our energy is real and the more we unlock our energy, the more we're able to share it. And it people feel it. Like, can you feel my energy now? Like, just like Lorraine was talking about, it's so sweet. And then she wrote this beautiful piece about, she realized that she for 10 years had had like 15 degree perception and through this process and through allowing me, trusting me, which is such an honor and a privilege to mentor her and to encourage her, 
I always say I'm a witness, a catalyst, and a guide for people. And I help you change through the portal of personal story. And so she wrote one day that she walked to the beach and she realized she felt so much freer and breathing more deeply. And she realized that as she looked at the ocean and she felt the sand beneath her feet and the warm sunlight on her skin, she felt so much more alive than she had in a decade. And that she was able to see 360 degrees. She was able to see with the soul, with the heart language, with the, with the perception of creative imagination and spirit and all these things activated first thing in the morning, wealth consciousness, which just helps expand. And she was able to see the waves coming in and then beneath the waves and the sea creatures. And she just had this, this, this gorgeous, lucid dreaming connection to the world and life flowing through her. And that's an example of one of these 10 benefits that you get from exploring. And I know it's a scary thing for some people to step into the exploration of personal story. It is well worth it. There are benefits and this is one of them that I went into more detail about and gave you this inspiring story of one of my clients. And the reason I'm showing up to share this is because I'm passionately committed to sharing on a larger scale, my expertise. I'm able to take you through quickly, a very clear path to unlocking your personal story and all the benefits that come along with it. So it's important for you guys to make sure you're ready to step into that. And the benefits are extraordinary and they unlock the path to whatever your dream is, whether it's stepping up your business, growing a uh, larger audience for your art, for your writing, uh, whether you're a speaker, coach, entrepreneur, you name it. Everything comes back to story. The mottos that I stand by are story first. And I desire to wake all of you up to the rich writer inside. And by rich, I don't mean only material, of course. And I do invite that as well, because it's something that I shut away for some years as a starving artist. And it's a beautiful thing. It enables us to breathe, <laughs> to relax, to create, to be of service to society instead of just worrying how we're going to pay a next bill, for example. And yes, all this is possible if you're called to it. If you step through the portal personal story and you master this art and there are just so many benefits, I've distilled it down to 10. I drilled more into the one, which was perception. I shared a client's story. My name is Rachel Resnick. I'm the LA times bestselling author. I'm a successful creative entrepreneur and I help you guys master the art of personal storytelling so you can cut through the noise like a, a personal story samurai. And you can reach the people who are waiting to hear from you, share your message, share your services and your goods or your products or your writings or your art or whatever it might be. And I'm just really excited to be here. Thank you guys for joining me live. Thank you for the replay viewers. And this is so Southern California. I am in the Mojave Desert. I'm namaste you guys. I'm namaste you guys. And then, oh, it's like samurai sword as well. And I am just thrilled to see you guys here. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I love you guys. And I am excited about showing up more fully than I ever have before also, because I can't deny how much me mastering the art of personal storytelling it all stems from when I wrote that memoir and then it became the heartbeat of my business for the last 13 years. I've run my own business on my own you know, with help, of course, from uh, lots of training and friends and so forth, but basically, you know, and, uh, and I'm here to wake this up in you because I've seen such extraordinary results, my clients. So now it's time for me to get out of my own way and share it on as large a scale as possible. And I am committed to that. So let me know anything you'd like to know more about. And I have some really exciting news too, that I am going to be sharing very soon. So stay tuned. And I will see you again very soon. Bye, everyone.